JRG's lower bracket run comes to a climax here, and it is going to be a tough one against Nordavin DMB. A lot of experience on this squad. ARG gonna have to fight for every inch of pinch. Every inch of pinch against this Nordavin squad. Every inch of pinch? Every inch of pinch. Sure, I'm, I'm, anyway. I'm, I'm holding the L, I'm holding the L. <laughs> but Nordavin's match earlier against Baguet Squad, they really couldn't find a way to deal with extra and ritual. So do, or did they, in that time down, really take some time to figure out how to deal with players who are playmakers like Mark by eight? Because that's what they're up against here. We're gonna find out. The qualifying match begins now. Off the kickoff, Al Dente picks this one up, looking for a quick goal, but ARG, there on the defense. And big thing to watch for is, you should, is the pitch control by ARG. Can they oh, continue man. that getting demoed as a response? There was a shot available for 7M and could not put it on target. And we have been watching ARG for two series in a row now. You you already know they're going to have some solid midfield defense, man. Actually, how about a wide open net from their own half? Hello? ARG? I, yeah. It, explain? Explain? <laughs> Clayx gets a boomer downfield. Mark, Mark by eight is like, oh yeah, I don't need to touch this. Everyone else is up. Not much more you can write home about it. We, other teams against ARG today, it's been the same thing. ARG have just found a lot of open nets today. To be fair, that really could be Nordavind, uh, like they were talking about on the desk. They've had to wait a little bit since they had to get here. So uh, they definitely might need one to warm up. But unfortunately, in a best of five, you don't have as much time as you would like as you would in a best of seven. So they're going to have to step that up pretty much right now. And it's Clay X to clear. And game ones can really be that feeler game, no matter how long you've been playing in a tournament. Every matchup is different against different teams. Trying to carry it out as data here, but marked by eight. Well, Nordovin are gonna have to have an answer for him. His challenges have been, well, 100% today. And they may continue to be the shot right to Al Dente. Marked by eight, picks up the corner boost. Clay X, oh. a light shot, <laughs> and boomed away. Clay X was definitely thinking about throwing the change up there because everybody from Nordovin, you saw them all turn in towards that ball and he, you thought that just maybe he might have been able to make everyone think they could clear that the best way, and they all just beat each other. Al Dente ends up winning, but it's really a win for ARGs. Clay X takes control, and the rest of Nordovind, it was just a challenge that bought some time, and Nordovind did get control back. And we know ARG are capable of holding one goal leads, as they have, we saw them earlier two games ago against May Contain Nuts, marked by eight flying back to make a save, but... Ooh, some miscommunication. Careful, that shot is just off wide. Al Dente flipping that one up. Yeah, Mark by eight as he took that ball out to the corner. He was expecting his teammate that was in the net to go follow it. You saw him stop on the back wall and wiggle a little bit, thinking someone's going to go get it. Nobody did. Thankfully, they got out unscathed, but he also... They looked clean in their previous series, but even little hiccups like that, Nordovind is definitely a team to punish, but Mark Payet currently right in front of the net, followed through from GCR on the midfield line. Data has him beat fast back the other way, and Clay X to buy time, and he does just that. Yeah, able to win that first challenge, giving way for GCR, and Mark Payet, he pinches it off the top of Mark's car. The pass straight down, flying in with 7M, able to tie the, C or the goal. The game up by one. A nice aggressive challenge from Sebadem here on the midfield. Al Dente, beautiful pass to the top of the box. Clay X, you can try all you want, but that's perfect placement from Sebadem. Anywhere into the middle of the net, that's not towards that left-hand side. 100% getting saved. Great aggression and nice placement. An ARG. In the back end, you talk about Nordovin having a two-hour rest. ARG have put in a marathon on this lower bracket run, and that can also be taxing on a team. Your fingers start slipping a little bit. Just that getting tired is definitely a factor in the play in every single season. Right now, holding their own. Al Dente can't get back to this ball, marked by eight. Forcing 7M up for the play, and there will be no follow-up for ARG, at least quickly, as 7M Wraps it around one mark by eight. Shot is saved oh. by Al Dente flipping up to make an incredible effort. And he is the guy in charge of buying time and space. And a nice save from Mark by eight tipped out to the corner for Clay X. 
But Al Dente, I talked about it a little bit on the desk. That's the guy who's responsible for getting space to work with for Nordavind, and he's done a nice job of that here in this game number one. GCR able to win that midfield challenge, but still Nordavind look to press. And a boomer by ARG forces them back again. And right now it's been pretty neutral as far as the boost battle has been. ARG have been able to get a corner boost every now and then, but Nordavind have been able to equalize it by getting the other. And midfield boost, there hasn't been, it hasn't been a one-sided affair. And time has flown by in game number one. Nice shot. A great shot from GCR, putting it in off the backboard, two to one. So on the line, Mark Baeta was actually harassing Al Dente a little bit, and it slows his reaction time as he was thinking about to go challenge that in the corner. And it, it bought just enough time where Al Dente knew he couldn't go out there and challenge. He had to take his chances in the net. And GCR, again, technical prowess on display, finds the back. Kicked out by Al Dente on the plate. Data trying to chase it down straight. Al Dente gets the demo, opens the net but for it, seven, it, no. Ooh, light. Mark by eight able to make the save. Nice save from Mark by eight. Follow-up challenge, though, still a hard press here from Nordavin. They need to win the next couple of challenge. Time is ticking. Oh, and Data trying to force the issue. Seven Dam is there. GCR tries to keep this ball close, but pressing his data on the play. Off the corner, Mark by eight's forced up. You're causing ARG to scramble on defense here. Can they find their way towards the That's box? That's a welcome clear. They hang on with that clear as time expires. One more chance. Pass over to Seven Dam. Puts it just above the cross. And they recover. Three for Dana. Oh, mama. <laughs> Zero seconds tie game. Oh, GCR didn't think it was possible at all. Seven Dam and Al Dente double commit. Marked by eight pixels away from getting the clear out to the midfield line. Just misplayed it and the man rotating into the net. He was driving too fast to hit the brakes, and a hero zero-second goal. Al Dente looking, he found 7M. ARG, GCR, trying to keep this close. Al Dente able to win that challenge on the back wall. A couple of times ARG have really tried to force this issue in the corner, but the pass over to Clay X, looking for it. Can't find the beat on the ball. For now, hunting was Clay X, but Dana had him the whole way. And again, Mark by eight, controlling those midfield boosts, making it very difficult for Nordavin to have enough resources to make an attack stick. But again, Al Dente finding space to work with from the back wall and passes to the top of the box. He's got two defenders stuck, and Mark by eight going to secure his own corner boost and not allow any boost off situations. Uh -oh. But here he comes. He's just off the mark, not far enough forward. But the pressure a little bit of give there from Nordavind and a nice clear from ARG. And now Dante needed to make that touch. It's not enough to buy time, and they're gonna have to fly back. It's Data having to make the save there. He does, and again, Nordavind thwart another assault by ARG. They've been hanging on Al Dente. Well, he lost against Mark by eight here. One more to beat. Flips it over, and Data gets Play the X. Play X is there. Oh, oh no. Crossbar. Still in danger in the box, and Data gonna carry it out. And still Nordavind. Heartbreak for ARG. You really start to wonder. That zero second goal takes a lot out of you with a big equalizer back the other way and 7M can't find the tight angle. And that could have been a huge mental blow because ARG definitely feel like they deserve this one. Clay X trying to muscle it home. And GCR gives some ground in the midfield. Nice possession based attempt from Clay X, but 7M with a nice challenge. And now running forward, Data off the ceiling. Marked by eight, trying to find the challenge. Available was 7M. Oh, Clay X gave up possession to Al Dente off the backboard, looking for the shot. He's got it! Goal for Nordavin. They take game one. And it all came down to could they hang on to this ball. Clay X expecting someone to be right on top of him. Unfortunately, he sets it on a platter. And Al Dente, he's got the man beat to the back wall. GCR can only watch and look up and ask forgiveness. And Al Dente had done. And so, again, you said it earlier, ARG, they felt like this game was theirs. Then that zero second goal off of the backboard where no one was able to contest, it really just killed them here. And you'll see it right here. The quick pass out that sets it up and then putting it up high, just oh, missing Mark. the touch was Mark. He, usually he finds that touch, couldn't do it there and it cost him. He's been tasked with a lot today and especially in the past couple series where we've seen him. One small mistake and again, GCR just driving too fast into the net, was not expecting to have to make a save at all. And perfect placement 
at zero seconds from Data behind the defender. And Nordovin eke out the win in overtime. And honestly, I think they absolutely stole game number one away from ARG. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, they stole it, absolutely. I think that, again, we talk a lot about the only resource in the game, boost. So how did, how did the boost battle go? It really felt even for the most part. No one was really able to put extended pressure yeah. on the other team. Both teams played well defensively for the most part. Where they got beat was the transition most of the time. Yeah, the transition game is always very powerful, but... ARG overall, great pressure all throughout. Marpe making sure not to let the higher seed Nordavin ever put them in a position where they didn't have resource to make anything happen, except right at the end at zero seconds where it's just one misplay. And then in that overtime where they did get caught on that rotation back. And Al Dente with perfect placement into the net. So what are you going to do here in ARG? Now's the time to show your stuff because you've been on a tear. Two 3 -oh sweeps and you get handed your first loss in a while. And... When you feel that loss, you start to feel the marathon you've been on, trying to reset the gear, see if they can fight back. But every game that this goes, you feel like a four game, maybe five game set will be really tough for ARG to handle, but they're off the kickoff, handling the offense well, as GCR catches this one out and keeps it away, forcing Nordovin to go wide. Quick pass out, but Altente's there, and picking up all the boost, and the shot, damn, oh, goal! Nordovin. And Mark Bay was figuring, trying to figure out a way to cut down this passing angle. He saw that one kick right out, and he knew he had the guy behind him. And he actually takes a great line back to the net. Pretty much down the center line, he can go left, right, or deal with it. But that is just too much power in just the right spot to where you can't really maneuver your car anyway. Expert shot from Data. And ARG forced to make a touch out, but Data was waiting for it. Mark by eight. Can't get set up, but it does give way for Clay X, who just nails it against the back wall and it's met with Nordovin's own boomer. And I've been talking a lot about Mark Bay for sure, but that's because he's been playing some excellent Rocket League. But got to give a lot of credit Ooh. to uh, a lot of kudos to Clay X as well. As on the offensive third, he's been making a fair amount of difficult challenges and keeping the ball stuck on the orange side. He should be right here for this and just give another opportunity to ARG. And a nice demo from GCR. Sebadam is in full damage control mode, and that is a nice delayed flick coming off the back wall to beat the first man, which was the most crucial touch. He gives a breath for a second, allows Nordovin just to get set on the midfield line. Challenged again by Clay X. Data looking for that pass close, but that was a dangerous touch. The closest by a mile was an ARG car. It is cleared away by Nordovin for now. Mark by eight trying to get it going. He got clipped on the backside by Data. Nothing too much just yet. You see a lot of these balls, they'll hit them high, try to force a defender up and force that missed touch. Mark by eight, you won't see a lot of those out Ooh, of him. Stole it. Great win off the crossbar and in. Tie game for an or ARG. And this is purely just Mark by eight. Just pressing forward, not allowing Data to do whatever he wants for free. That's, that's saying put it anywhere but here. Unfortunately, Data didn't really have too many options, and Mark by eight just picked, po pick, picked his pocket. Words are hard. <laughs> and for Nordovin, putting all pressure off the kickoff, a touchdown. Trying to tee it down for Data on the play. 7M forced back to his own corner. He does win against Mark by eight and kicks it by Clay. X flying up as Data throws it back towards midfield. Al Dente is there. The shot just off the uh. walls. No good. ARG. Thank you, fourth man. The idea was right there. Thank you, fourth man is right. Because this placement was near perfect. But a free ball for Mark by eight right towards Al Dente. But here comes GCR to keep the drive alive for ARG. And he'll get a second chance to pass to the midfield. Mark by eight was cutting it a little too sharp and couldn't react in time. On Nordovin, they're panicking a little bit on defense here. Two double commits in a row. Doesn't cost them. They had resources to follow it up right after. ARG had to retreat. The only reason they didn't get punished for it. Al Dente cutting off the pass over to Clay X. Clay X finds it anyway from Mark by eight. Now they move around to the corner. He didn't get the ball. He didn't get the boost. Still that positive. Making, still making great challenges from Clay X. Just there were so many opportunities right there for ARG to lose the ball and get put in an awkward spot on transition. And just his ability to get right on front of a ball and make sure not to get beat. Unfortunately, he did just miss one right there, but already ARG ready back on defense. And 
Leix's offensive third presence has been just about as good as Mark by eights on the midfield line. And for ARG, GCR played a much bigger role in previous matches against Nordavind. He's been quieter. He hasn't made any mistakes. It's all you can ask of him. Answers the bell. GCR takes the lead for ARG. And just another challenge from GCR. Sebadam gives it up, and Al Dente expecting Sebadam to go for that challenge. He was headed towards the corner to go cut off a pass, and he had to hit the brakes real fast to make an attempt to try and stop that one. Just couldn't get there in time, and that's just a nice give and go from Mark by eight to GCR. ARG, well, they're in a similar spot they were in game one, up two to one. About a minute left. We only a disaster. Only difference was a zero second effort at the end that gave Nordavind a win in overtime. Seven Dam trying to get back to this. He wasted everything to try to get back to that ball. Mark by eight. Couldn't find his way around. Oh, free ball for Al Dente. Picked a great spot off the back wall. Mark by eight, not a good clear. Sebenham can put this one away, and GCR, a great stop coming out of the corner. Al Dente put it in the best possible place to give his team a solid chance, and that is just quality defense from ARG to recover from that one. And almost a chance for ARG to go the other way. They were too slow on the transition. Now it's Nordovin putting a shot on target. Mark by eight, able to make the save. Not quite out of the woods as they lost the challenge to Seba Dam. Ball falling towards Mark Baye. Oh, another, another great chance. Save. Great pass from Data. Oh, and it blocked. Play X standing tall in net, able to keep the score line two to one. Ten seconds left. Nordovin still hunting. It's Looking all the same. Against Clay X, up high Mark eight. Mark by eight, clears it away. Can they do it? Nordovin can't. ARG seal the deal in game two and tie the series. Oh, man, Nordovin. Talk about chance creation in the final couple of seconds. That that last 45 was a beautiful display of winning a challenge, catching the clear, and not throwing it right back to where it came from. Get it towards the top of the box. Give your teammate a chance. And Nordovin did just that, but marked by eight clay X, GCR, lock it down. Quality defense in the final 45, but Nordovin, that was a scary looking offense, and you gotta uh, respect it if you're ARG moving into game number three. Here's the swing game. Jorby. This is it. This is it. the one that I think matters the most, of course. We talked about it a little bit in CRL. If it's one to one, this is the one that puts the pressure on your opposition to play the perfect game of Rocket League because you're out of lives. You're in the lower bracket. This is your chance to qualify for rival series. And you cannot afford to drop this game and put even more pressure on yourself than there already is. Absolutely. And for Nordavind, it's not like Nordavind played a bad game. It was just a couple of key balls that really got away from them. And you know, sometimes that just happens at this level of play. You're feeling the pressure from ARG. They have to find a way to, to keep possession in those situations because ARG are hunting right now. and Their mm -hmm. offense has woken up in a big way, and they've generated so much pressure so far. So much pressure is right. And Nordavind going into this game number three, again, a lot of uh, expectation for me on Al Dente. He's the guy that I said he's the one who will get space for his team to be successful. He tried at the latter half of that game. You got to see it all the way through here in game number three. And let's see how it plays out. The crux in the series looking for advantage. That all important buffer game in a best of five series. Mark by eight off the kickoff. Looking off the backboard for Clay X, and it's ARG. They call, they answer first. One nothing. The kickoff just gone wrong. They try and get it on a quick transition and just beat themselves, really. <laughs> and ARG just say, we'll take that, and they go on transition and score instead. <laughs> and you got to think if they, if they keep finding those spaces like that where you're catching the other team out of position, it's just that challenge game that has been consistent. Talk about Fireburner being 90-10 on challenges, and it feels like ARG is 100 nothing <laughs> right now in all of the games we've seen them play. A double commit by Nordovind on the offensive half. That puts, so, or excuse me, Al Dente in a tough spot, but the ball right into him in the corner, and he makes another great challenge. Plenty of time bought for Nordovind to get reset. But how do they hang on to this ball? That's the real question. They can win the first challenge, but it's gaining possession that's going to make the difference. And here's a free ball for Al Dente, one at the back post. And GCR with a quality stop. There's a demo in the net, a nice hole to work with. And GCR wisely back into the corner. 
instead of putting that ball into the dangerous part of the middle of the pitch where they had offense lurking. GCR really trying to make Sebadem think about where he was going with that ball still. Nordovind playing in the corner here. Marked by eight, gets a touch out, forces Nordovind back towards their own box. Taking his own pass out. All right, free ball. In midfield, got the pass in the corner as well, but tough going. The angle was closed. Still, it was a loose ball in the third. Data tried to force it through, and it ended up being just a roller out that Clay X now picked up for ARG. And just watching Al Dente so far, really trying to make sure he doesn't take himself too far out of position, but there was a breakdown in communication. Al Dente was on the goal line, and he half-flipped to catch this ball off the wall, and Data just took it away and didn't get a good clear. And that's a small breakdown in communication because Data's got to tell him, I'm coming into net, or if, if even if he did, then he's got to make a much better clear than that. That one's on Data all the way. Al Dente had a clean catch out towards the corner and probably a clear off the sidewall. And it's two for two for ARG on their shots and goals. Nordovind really have only found a corner to play with in the blue half. And again, Data just trying to buy some time, marked by eight. A touch out to GCR, looking for a pass out, and he doesn't get one. Seven dam up for Al Dente, has a touch, a white one right in front of Mark by eight. Data now off the back wall, coming in, the shot blocked by Clay X flying in on the play. And keeping the ball away is Data, ends up bumping both the opponent and his teammate to get control of the ball, Ooh. but ends up giving it up to ARG. Al Dente allowed time for the offense of ARG to get once again, geared up for a push, and now it's an awkward spot. They had the lower half of the net. Thankfully, the first opportunity misses and allows Al Dente to recover and clear the second opportunity. But they can't find this clear against the sidewall. They're going to have to control their own corner boost. They cannot get boost starved right now, or ARG will break them down. And Sebadam with a welcome clear pass to the middle. Actually, a shot towards the back post and an easy stop if a double commit for ARG. Can they get this one to stick wow. for Nordovind? Good challenge by Al Dente. Pass out to Data from 7M. Looking for another one off the corner. He won that challenge for Al Dente. Can he get it going even further? No, it's played out to the corner again. It's been a scrum on this left corner for Nordovind. They can't get anything in front of the box. They had one solid shot come out of that and nothing else. ARG thwarted. And Nordovind forced on the defensive end. Clay X in their face. And they've really been favoring that left corner, Nordovind. They're going to try on the right side here with Al Dente up high. And Mark by eight, easily going to clear that to the corner, but this is just for Nordovin to try to get some midfield pitch control. Oh, big cherry pick here from Al Dente. He won't have an opportunity to get the bump on Mark or the shot. He knew his teammates had the free ball, but now he's got to buy time for everybody. And Clay X, such a nuisance, forcing him to put it in a contested spot. Actually, nobody home. And Mark Payet able to tip that off the back wall. Follow through from GCR. Not the greatest clear. And here's an opportunity for Nordovin to really get positioned on offense and make a scary opportunity. Yes, they did. And Al Dente couldn't get high enough. And he pings it off the backboard. Another one for Al Dente. The pass back over to Data. Trying to pull someone from ARG up. No one from ARG going to bite on it off the backboard. Challenged by Mark by eight. Again on the defense. Sebadam playing it close. Data's there as well. That one, a laser off the backboard. Clay X can't get there, and now Dente. Playing the block. He was expecting the touch, and it didn't happen. They still have possession, but Data bought some time here in midfield. Nordovin, they have 24 seconds to get two goals, and they've been they've had the ball. They've, they've, they've been the on pressure. offense. They just haven't gotten shots on net. They have five. And those last two shots just happened in the last 30 seconds. They've been holding onto the ball, though. Like you said, they definitely have possession, but ARG just not willing to give an inch. And also, Nordovin not able to generate the same quality of chances that they were able to at the end of game number two. Really doing a great job getting the ball away from the sidewalls, out towards the top of the box, into the middle of the pitch. It was really more try and find a hole on the backboard when they had possession right there and ARG doing a nice job managing the speed, managing the rotations, not getting in each other's way, and just finding another touch to deal with the next onslaught. Because Nordovin was coming at him there in the final minute, maybe minute and a half even. It was great pressure, but just well-managed defense from ARG. Absolutely, and there were even a couple of times, Nordovin, there, there aren't 
it's not like there aren't holes on ARG's defense. There was a couple times near the end, about at the minute mark, where you saw the third man on ARG start to cheat up a little bit, and that can afford you a transition for Nordivan, but they weren't able to find a solid clear. And again, ARG just did a great job playing out to the corner. Yep. Like you said, Ashiv's solid rotation. They cut off passes. There were a couple times Data, he had a solid pass out from, out from the opposing corner, but it was always cut off. The most important thing when you're on defense in Rocket League is to not make a bad touch. Do not ever get a weak touch out towards the top of the box that someone's going to be waiting there to blast at you. Do not ever just like limp take one off the ceiling and just have it come straight down and right into the back of the net. You cannot make a bad touch on defense. And ARG never made a bad touch on defense in that game. No, absolutely not. And for Nordavind... It's just about finding finding those infield passing plays that they haven't been able to connect on, trying to get more midfield presence, really trying to work maybe laterally instead of forcing everything to this left corner, which that's just the way the flow of the game has gone for this team. And if they can start to stretch this ARG defense back and forth and use that possession to starve them of resources, Nordovan can absolutely break through here, but this is it. No more lives left. It's two to one in the series for ARG. One more win will punch their ticket into the rival series. Nordovan. Whoa, what a save. A great save from Altente. And you really want to see, I agree, the middle of the field is the key to success for Nordovan. They can get that ball to the top of the box. That's been some of their best scoring opportunities. And here's one off the back wall. Marked by eight in a bad spot, but nobody home for Nordovan. And that's really what I want to see out of this Nordovan offense. Get the ball away and Al Dente to tip one out to the corner. And Mark Baye gets by it again. He gets a bump as well. It allows Clay X to get the challenge and a big double commit is luckily, uh, it's a little better now that Data was able to fly back and make the save, but they're still in a tough spot. Data able to pick up that corner boost, affords some time. Al Dente also with the challenge gives Nordovan a little bit of space. And Clay X pressuring as well off the back ball. Nobody there for both teams, actually. But currently, ARG with plenty of pressure. Data, solid touch out to the corner. Can he get two? If he'd had, it would have been a marvelous clear. And Sebadam had to make a tough challenge at the top of the box, but Data to recover. And Nordovin will break out back on to the blue half, but for how long? It's how does Al Dente manage this in the midfield? Allows his teammates to make sure they're in position, but as well, it doesn't really clearly get Nordovin the ball either. Goodbye, Aldente in the corner there as well. Slipping right over, thinking he was going to go under. Aldente challenge against GCR. He gets a clean touch onto the ball. Sebadam and Aldente here in midfield. Picks it up off the corner. This is good for Data and Norda. Oh, okay. Four. <laughs> second. But Data was able to finish. You thought old fourth man might have came back for just a second. And just a quality challenge. Sebadam just muscling it right through Mark by eight. He's been such a tough nut to crack anywhere on the pitch, and they finally got one by him. And not only that, it got by him with speed and just beat the man right behind him. And GCR as well, I know in the previous game I mentioned how it felt like he was a little quieter, but he's definitely just been playing that, you know, the guy who just makes the challenge and lets his teammates do the rest of the work. And Clay exits winning that next challenge that allows Mark by eight, or sometimes it's Mark by eight doing it. Either way, ARG playing as a cohesive unit overall here against Nordovan. But, but Nordovan, go ahead. Well, again, they're just trying to go off this back wall, which they really haven't had much success with as Sibidam tries to find a tight angle. They really need to, to go back to the end of that game number two because you've seen the backboard defense in game number three from ARG. You know it's not going to work, but they actually do beat Mark by eight. Oh, no. He's been so good on the midfield line. That's two in a row. He gave another one up. Maybe the marathon starting to get to him a little bit. He was a little far up on the midfield. A little far. And that, and that touch, all, all he needed to, was a little bit of Anything. height. Anything. A little bit of height. And that's what he got. There was no way Mark was getting to that ball. I just don't think he respected the power right. that Data could really get on that ball. And off the kickoff, it's 3 to nil, And just like that, out of nowhere, Nordovin, Nordovin's cruising. Welcome back. And they're like, we're not going quietly. <laughs> Three nothing in the first half. Looking to force a game five. That one off the kickoff and off of two really key errors. We would say by Mark by eight, but that's just a product of how Nordovan have been able to control the ball. It's a wake up call, absolutely, for ARG here in game number four. 
in games two and three. Nordovin was only able to put one ball in the back of the net. They almost score a fourth, and Aldente to the back post will not have enough to get by Market this time around as they try a pinch from Clay Exton GCR, and they will get it all the way back to the orange side of the field, but ARG definitely going to be scratching their heads. It was a swing of maybe, what, 50 seconds and out of the out of nowhere they're down by three yeah it came really out of nowhere ARG right in front of the box they couldn't find a shot and I talked about it right before game four a little bit about how ARG they were tending to push up at the end oh. of game number three and you felt like Nordovin could capitalize on it they absolutely have and the demo on the back end will keep things open for Nordovin looking for a fourth goal that shot light GCR gets bumped net open oh. X did Clay X just mind game Data on that challenge? Data was absolutely trying to dunk him into oblivion and take him right into the blue net, and he just he just cut out towards the side of the field, and Data just sailed right by the ball. A well, quick pass out over to Data. Unmarked by eight. He finds the boost, but more importantly, he missed the ball on the play. Doesn't mount anything here for Nordovin, but you have less than a minute to go for ARG. And it's looking like we may have game number five. Clay X just trying to keep the ball away uh. from Nordovin on defense. Data picks it up. GCR, can he get a goal? You feel like Mark. they have a chance. You got to score now. Mark off on the backboard. No good. Yeah, that needed to be it. Game number four will definitely be out of reach. And you know, I said you can never make a bad touch on defense. I don't really think ARG ever made a bad touch on defense. They either one didn't make the touch or two just straight lost a challenge against that corner marked by eight. Hey man, you can't make a bad touch if you don't hit the ball. You can't make a bad touch if you don't <laughs> hit the ball. That is true. But either way, and a great response by Nordovind in game number four. And it's it, Data popping off as the goal scorer. A hat trick for him. Getting that last one off the kickoff. Al Dente also a force in the midfield. He picked up an assist. And Seba Dam also two assists for him. So yep. everybody getting involved on this Nordovin offense at game number four. And they take this to match point. Game five, winner goes to the rival series. Well, I said get the ball into the middle of the pitch for Nordovin. They really didn't have to do it. They just threw it into the corner some more. And this time around in Sometimes game four, it, happened, it, it <laughs> happened to work. So they beat Mark by eight off the midfield line for one goal. They win a challenge against Mark off the corner. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that third goal, that two minute and 30 second mark or so where they found one off the kickoff. And they just beat two players on that cheat up. And that is the one that really put the game away. ARG trying to play aggressive on that kickoff, trying to get themselves right back into the game. You can see Clay X go out to the corner and it, it did go his way. But the delayed cheat from Nordovind ends up paying off because they beat that really aggressive cheat from ARG where they're trying to get the ball to stick in one position or roll out the way the guy turns. And Nordovind plays a little more passive because they got the lead and it extended that lead. And really, it's it's a high value decision for Data to cheat up on that kickoff when after you get that second goal, it's like, we have a chance to really take control of this game on that. And you know, it was a great, great kickoff win for them. Dana just took advantage, and like you said, he had him beat. So, game five for ARG. I, I still think that kickoff really wasn't, really wasn't what did ARG in. It was playing a little bit too far up for Mark, not respecting the power that Nordovind have, and they made them pay on the transition a couple of times. So, yeah. uh, you know, for ARG, just a little bit farther back for the third man, a little bit wider on the rotation, and maybe th those goals don't go in. Yeah, maybe they don't go in, but either way, they. I don't really think they were able to generate anywhere near as much offense as they were used to in games two and three. So game five, first minute very telling. You're going to have to see ARG really step it up from what happened last game. Got to start winning the challenges as JC or GCR does exactly that and puts one in off the kickoff. Respond to a shutout five seconds in with a kickoff goal of your own. GCR does it here, and this is it for these teams. All your work up until this point getting to top 128 and playing for however many hours today all leads down to one single game five minutes of rocket league Who and it comes away it always feels like the start of game number five when one team's had the better of the other team in the middle of the series and then a game four like that happens it always feels like game five every team gets a shot of adrenaline and you feel like that speed just comes out for everybody and it's going to be a incredibly aggressive game, I feel. And catching it out is Data. He's got Sebadam on the wing, off the back wall. Sebadam slams it in. Tie game for Nordovin. And marked by eight on the line. 
charged again with buying time. He knows he's in a two-on-one. He has to watch Sebanana as he crosses the top of the box. He needs to make sure he's not getting demoed. He's got to keep his eyes on the man dribbling in data. And eventually, he did a little wiggle line on the move, or a little, a little wiggle move on the line, and Data just put it right off the back wall, and he couldn't go get it. ARG. That response, Nordovin has been able to do a couple times in this series. Trying to possess here is marked by eight. Let's win one challenge, but Sebadam is the first to follow. Now GCR kicks this up high and calculated. Ball. Pass right in front, marked by eight passes. Blocked from the shot from Clay X. They're coming in, plenty of time for GCR. Off the corner, boomed away. No follow up coming. GCR looking for a bump. Gone and cleared by Sebadam. And Clay X not having quite as much effectiveness on the offensive third in those challenges as he was earlier on in the series. Able to beat that first man, which was so crucial for ARG, getting a ton of extra opportunities earlier on in the series, but it seems Nordovin have got a bit more of a handle on things now as we continue on here, but GCR threads the needle, and that will just be kicked aside. Sibidam able to race back out of the corner. Thought he might have put that one in. Absolutely, but that's not a great touch from GCR. Al Dente hits it off the ceiling, shot followed up, and coming down from the skies is marked by eight to make a save and keep the game tied. But a dangerous double commit, and they are fortunate that the touch out to the corner was the one that happened because that other one came out, it was going right to the top of the box, and I already said, you can never make a bad touch on defense. That definitely would have been a bad touch. Off the corner, marked by eight, off the back wall, flying in oh. is GCR, and he was just too far back to have a beat on the play. It's not over, Clay X trying to get back to it, flipped under, but it wasn't the best touch from Al Dente. He tried to find Seba Dam, now marked by eight. Nice pass. pass. Shot, goal, GCR takes the lead for ARG. This is marked by X, he's been struggling on defense, but here he just makes Data think way too hard, and he just <laughs> forces him to wait too long. He's buying time for GCR to get in position. He's waiting until the last possible moment to beat the guy who came up to challenge him. And that is just, again, the brilliant mind games of Mark by eight. Nordovind on the kickoff. Data. Oh, able to control there. It's a good touch from him and allows Al Dente to come in. Flipped up by Sebadam. You can only really just hope that it gets back out to the corner for Data. It does. It's another good touch off the backboard, but midfield is controlled by Nordovind right now. And going forward, the shot doesn't ever materialize. Clay X now in midfield, but you saw Clay X. He can't really push forward any farther than he is. Two players on ARG. 25, now no, two players with zero boosts, but finally picking up a midfield boost for ARG. They needed that as Nordovind had been really peppering this Ooh. backboard. And Mark by eight, forced to have to make this touch out the corner. They've been struggling to really get consistent pressure on the offensive end and buy them some more time. They do have the lead for oh, now. Data. And Data almost caught out on the play. Luckily, Clayx couldn't put it on target. Well, Data was about to get demoed, and he didn't want to just jump and then give away a free opportunity, so he decided to cut into the net. But that alone offered another opportunity. As Sebadam gets beat, Data again caught edging forward, won't make it back. Mark by eight puts him up by two, and ARG have the lead. Trying to get that touch, Sebadam just undercuts it a little bit, took the launch angle and went off a little bit too far to the left, couldn't even get a touch onto the ball, and Data was expecting at least a challenge to happen there, which is why he was so far up on the play, left the net wide open for Mark Bayer. Oh, eight. big miss. And a huge miss, almost puts Nordovin back within one. It doesn't happen just yet. Data falling back down, double commit by ARG, still a chance for Nordovin. Pressure as nice cleared from GCR, but a beautiful catch from Al Dente. Pass to Data, and Clay X is there to meet it. They want the demo in the midfield line. They'll force Al Dente off the ball, but it actually spins him out in the proper direction. And they're trying to force things through, but GCR, patient as always, waiting on the backfield. They know they don't have to press too hard for ARG. You're unlikely to see an amazingly hard press here because they just have to lock down on defense, control their own corner boost, maybe take away one of the midfields, and they should be able to lock this down. 40 seconds left for Nordovint in game five. ARG have responded 
every shot blocked that Nordavind has put on, and it hasn't been a lot of them, only four. Ooh. And a good touch off the backboard, but no immediate pressure. Clayx gave it away. Back to Data, too wide out to the side. Still, Al Dente tries to put it oh, up. Oh, Data doesn't have boost to go for it. He had to leave, and that is precious time wasted. But a great demo allows another opportunity. And touched out. GCR can't get a touch. 7M has to get back to this ball. He can't. Mark by eight gets a big clear. One more chance for Nordovin to score with time left. ARG, an incredible lower bracket run to punch their ticket to the European Rival Series. Welcome. And a well-deserved win for ARG. Welcome is absolutely right.